This is a problem where we have some frequencies and we're looking for wavelengths. Now, a few things to know first. When it mentions the wavelengths in air at 20 degrees Celsius for sound, the usual speed for this that we're going to use is 343 meters per second. That is how fast sound travels in air at 20 degrees Celsius. Now, the key thing to know for this problem is that the speed of a wave is equal to its wavelength times its frequency. So in the case of this problem where we're trying to solve for wavelengths, what we have to do is algebraically solve for the wavelength by dividing both sides of this equation by the frequency so that they cancel out on this side. And we're left with a wavelength equation telling us that the wavelength is equal to the wave speed divided by the wave's frequency. Now in the case of part A of this problem, we're looking for the, the range of wavelengths based on this range of frequencies. So let's use this equation for both of the, uh, of the frequencies it gives us. So first off, for 20 hertz, let's put that in. Let's put in 343 meters per second for V divided by a frequency of 20 hertz. And if we put this into our calculator, then we find a wavelength of approximately 17 meters. Now let's do it again, but for the high frequency. So that's 343 meters per second divided by 20,000 hertz. If you put this into our calculator, then we find a wavelength of about 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters which is much smaller, and if you feel like doing the conversion, this can also be seen as equal to about 1.7 centimeters. So this means that for, for part A, the range of wavelengths for human hearing is going to be from about 1.7 centimeters to 17 meters. So that is the range of wavelengths that we have. Now for part B, we're specifically given an 18 megahertz ultrasonic wave. So we're just gonna have to use the same formula again. And it's actually simpler this time since we're not gonna be worrying about ranges and having to do multiple different parts. But it's gonna be 343 meters per second divided by, and that's megahertz, so that means we're going to be taking 18 and multiplying it by 10 to the power of six for hertz. And we put this into our calculator, then we find a very small wavelength of 1.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meters. So the moral of the story here is that the higher the frequency is, the lower the wavelength is. Anyways, that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me make more videos like this. But if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, I have my Discord server and my Twitch page linked in the description down below. That's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely night. Bye bye